The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. A man in the crowd said to Jesus, Master, tell my brother to give me a share of our inheritance. My friend, Jesus replied, who appointed me your judge or the arbitrator of your claims? Then he said to them, Watch and be in your guard against avarice of any kind. For a person's life is not made secure by what he owns, even when he has more than he needs. Then he told them a parable. There was once a rich man who, having had a good harvest from his land, thought to himself, What am I to do? I have not enough room to store my crops. And then he said, This is what I will do. I will pull down my barns and build bigger ones and store all my grain and my goods in them. And I will say to my soul, My soul, you have plenty of good things laid by for many years to come. Take things easy. Eat, drink, have a good time. But God said to him, Fool, this very night the demand will be made for your soul. And this horde of yours, whose will it be then? So it is when a person stores up treasure for himself in place of making himself rich in the sight of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Welcome indeed to the 18th Sunday of Ordinary Time, Year C. Uh, there's more to life than wealth and riches. And our first reading today is very powerful. All is vanity from Ecclesiastes. And we set that in the context of the story that we've just heard in the Gospel from Luke about the uh, rich fool. Nations and peoples and huge conglomerates across the world are daily pulling down old barns and building new ones. And we ourselves get caught up in the trend, personally and as families and as communities. The parable that we have heard is about need and about greed. And as far as you're concerned, what is the difference between your needs and the greed that you experience? When he said, this is what I will do, I will tear down my barns and build bigger ones. And there I will stir up all my brain and my goods. I know from personal experience that greed leads to anger. If I don't get this, I will kill you. And anger expresses itself sometimes in the supermarket, a lot of time in the car or on the bike. When I'm driving, I'm anti-bike. And when I'm in the car on the bike, I'm anti-car. Or there's, ang there's anger in the family and with people with what they do and what they say. But my friends, there's something worse because greed leads to jealousy and envy. Green with envy. But why? Most people experience envy and jealousy and they justify it. And yet we're torturing ourselves. What you fear most will come true. And somebody has described jealousy as a dragon. And as we know very well, dragons hide and come out to destroy. 
So don't ignore the dragon. Greed is like a fire. The more you pile on the fire, the greater the fire becomes. So put out the fire of greed. I'm going to give you 60 seconds in silence to count your blessings. Maybe just pick five blessings that you have. And it's a daily exercise that I do frequently. Every morning, maybe five minutes, just think about the blessings of the day or the blessings of yesterday or the expected blessings of tomorrow. So 60 seconds and you count your blessings. And having become aware of our blessings, the words from the psalm of today, fill us at daybreak with your love, that all our days we may sing for you with joy. And the view that many of you will know very well, and the beauty of that view, and the blessings we receive from each other, and from nature. Once a person was asked, what did you gain by regularly praying to God? And the person replied, absolutely nothing. But let me tell you what I lost. Anger, jealousy, greed, envy, depression, insecurity, and fear of death. My friends, sometimes the answer to our prayers is not gaining, but losing, which is ultimately gain. Have a week of gain, have a week with no greed, and with blessings galore. Bless you. Thanks for taking part.